This is a serious video, so there's no room for satire in this. I just want to get straight to the point. So let me start by apologizing for the things I've said. I know I shouldn't have said those things regardless of the context, and I personally apologize to red, blue, and most especially yellow. I shouldn't have said those things, and I shouldn't have been so pushy to yellow specifically. Moving forward, I will not have this behavior. This shouldn't have been a joke in the first place, and I really apologize. While I will not defend myself for the things I said explicitly, I will protect myself from the blatant attempt at character assassination. For as distasteful as the comments I made are, they weren't genuine, nor were they filled with intent. My sense of humor has always been very harsh, dark humor, if you will, and while it doesn't excuse my behavior, it does reveal that I had no intention on moving on any of the things I said. First things first. Red, what I said to you earlier about my apology was completely sincere, and I hope you can someday let go of this hatred. However, I will call you out on this because you cannot be claiming to be an angel. Red has no problem admitting that she craves attention. Her behavior before anything else really just kind of screams it. However, I'm trying to get across here that long after the drama between me and her cooled off, she still had a bone to pick with me. It was pretty common knowledge that these jokes were being made in my community. Maybe not to the extent it actually occurred, but definitely known. So far as to the point where I was known as the old man with kids in his basement. Now for the situation with Red. I agree, I shouldn't have done what I did, and I definitely don't feel right for doing that to her. However, let me make this clear. I did not start her out on this behavior. I did not groom her into doing it. By the time we were making these jokes, she had already been doing it with several people. Several people who had experiences with Red and Blue, have known me for many years, or have experienced the same thing they had, were willing to speak up. I now present to you what they have to say. Hello, I'm DataXL, and I'm currently working for SEO as a 3D modeler. Hey there, my name is Charlie, I'm currently 17, and I work at SEO as a graphics lead. Hello. I am dead inside Sonic. I've known Jaden for the past four or five years. I am a contributor to the Roblox game Sonic Eclipse. This is Panic. I've been a part of SEO's community since 2018. Uh, I do animation and modeling work. I want to start off by saying I've known Jaden for five years, and all the years I've known him for, he was very careful with what he said because he knows not to step over the fine line of joking around. After seeing this, I want to make my point fucking clear. What Jaden has said and done, he has no fucking excuse for. And I'm truly disgusted after reading this document and all the things he has done. Obviously, the DMs that were exchanged between Jaden and the victims were not okay. There is no excuse for that. I'm not excusing what he said, but it was never meant to be handled seriously. However, this doesn't give him the excuse to talk to these young individuals like that at all. Though he is not a pedophile. But Jaden is by no means a pedophile. He understands the clear dividing line between jokes and serious, harmful actions against others. I'm just saying, what he did was extremely wrong, and I agree with you all with that, but he's not a fucking pedophile. Jaden clearly knew his boundaries and did not want to indulge in anything illegal for his own safety and the safety of the victims. I derived no sexual enjoyment from saying those things. It was merely something I did because it fueled my ego. I'm not sure when it turned into a grudge, but eventually it did. 
There are many potential reasons for it, but whatever the reason may be, I can tell you that they're still present and possibly the reason for her seeking validation to her beliefs by getting me to react to her provocations. The next point is that both the author and Red have stated that I'm a scary man for doxing people. Yes, it's true. I have indeed doxed people, but only those deserving like previously mentioned. They talk about how it's scary and threatening, but they have no problem with it being done towards me. In conclusion, I do not consider this document a genuine form of exposure of an individual. I consider it a hit piece, attempt at character assassination, missing plenty of context, misrepresenting situations, or flat out lying about interactions or things said with the individuals mentioned in it. Again, I will repeat, I am genuinely sorry, and I apologize to everyone I have offended and made uncomfortable for the things I've said to the victims. But I needed to address this as a lot of the documents' misinformation could lead to future complications if left to the elements.